Good evening. It's something people in Blacksburg have been concerned about for weeks. Today, hundreds of Virginia Tech students started to move in on campus for the first time since March. Many worry this will lead to a spike in coronavirus cases. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder shows us how the process is looking a lot different this year. Payne Hall is going to be in the quad. Down. It's a moment not all students at Virginia Tech were sure would happen this year. I'm just excited that I can even be here. More than 700 new Hokies and their peers started moving into their dorm rooms Friday. The university's vice president for student affairs says they have been preparing for move in day for weeks. I think all of us have been longing for this moment to get them back and you can just feel the energy returning to campus. Now commonly used moving items such as this bin are going to be disinfected in between each family who uses them. It's just one of the many steps the university is taking to make sure that students can move in safely. Another major change this year is mandatory COVID-19 testing. All students living on campus are required to get tested at Lane Stadium the day they move in. We ask what they do is they quarantine in place until the results are known. For incoming freshmen like Chloe DeSanto from Richmond, the changes don't seem so bad. It doesn't feel like so not normal anymore. Like, I guess because I'm kind of used to like the craziness now, but it, it doesn't feel that strange. It just kind of isn't the best situation. Dory Menzel says as a student, she wants to have as little impact on the Blacksburg community as possible and hopes to make the best of her time at the university. And I know that cases could go up since we're here. I'm just happy to be here for as long as we can. Um, I'm just trying to look at it optimistically. In Blacksburg, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.